Hello everybody and welcome to The Smiling Tape Volume 1. Now before we get started with this, I just want to show you this lovely thing that happened right before I started recording. My ring light broke and it, it, it just fell right off the thing because it's stupid and it's from Walmart and it cost me like $12. So I duct taped it together. So that's what we're working with right now. So I believe this video starts off exactly the same as the previous one. So if it does, I'm going to jump to where it was before, and if you haven't seen it, you gotta watch the video before this. So let's go! Okay, so now we're at the point where everybody was quarantined after the spores started flowing out of this person's mouth. You, you have a bit of an odd look to you from the start, but I'm gonna chalk that up to it being very warpy and pixelated. And I'm just gonna leave it at that. Log 27, December 4th, 1994. I went out for groceries. And there was a strange man throwing flour at me on the way home. What do you mean throwing flour at you? Like baking flour? He had the baking flour and he just kind of... Ah, or whatever. I was, uh, I was more weirded out than I was pissed. Anyways, what? Okay, fine. I guess I don't deserve that. There's a lot of things I don't deserve and apparently reading is one of them. I had this vivid dream. Wait, flowers. Do those flowers have the spores on them? Is it not like an injectable drug? Is it more like just plant drug? Is it like shrooms? You're having dreams about the weird flower? Throwing man. That was a bit uncalled for. He's been feeling better. He started to bark again. Is your dog also infected with the smiling virus or smiling drug, whatever you want to call it? Very similar dream yesterday. Not a colorful space, forgot who I was. When I saw him, him, him being his smile. You talking about the crazy man that you showed before? Yes, the dude who looks like he has his face kind of smushed in. Like maybe when he was a baby, his dad just came up and just went, mm, and like bare palmed his face. The same dream for the past week. It's kind of worrying me now. Does it mean something? I don't know. You got a psychedelic dude who was throwing flowers in your face. You should go to a doctor. Changing my life. Can't stop thinking about it all day. What was that last bit down there? I saw somebody getting this typing on the keyboard. My face won't stop twitching. What? Now you're having migraines right now? You're having a migraine? I have migraines too. It sucks, but not because crazy men are throwing flowers in my face. You sure you weren't just invading somebody's wedding? You might just be invading somebody's wedding. It's been four days. The migraine and twitching began. You're in agony, and you're, okay, I will go to the doctor. You should have been gone to the doctor. You started having random migraines after dude started throwing flower petals in your face. You should have been gone. They told you it was just stress, an electrolyte imbalance. Just take pain medicines and relax and stay hydrated. Just start chugging Gatorade. My face hurts. It feels like something is pulling the sides of my mouth up. It's getting harder to blink. The pills don't work. Take some antifungal medication. Go out, go out to Home Depot or Lowe's and get some weed spray. Max passed away. No, not the dog. I don't understand. He was doing fine yesterday. Not the puppy. Aww. You should really go and get that antifungal spray. Like like when you have athlete's foot, and you just, just start spraying yourself from head to toe. Just give your face a nice spray down. Friends say you look a lot happier recently. Behind this forced smile, I'm suffering. Yes. Both physically and mentally. Both physical and mental anguish. 
doctors were stumped by the illness, by my illness, not the illness, but it means the same thing. And even though I'm saying it, it still, can, it still flows well enough. I'm happy. I'm full of energy. I felt the man's yearns, yearns. He changed me. For the better? I am happy. So this drug, I, oh, oh, oh. Are you done being happy? Oh! I'm glad you're doing better, but keep your... We told you something. Uh, the quest is filled. Brand new life. Better place. Speed reading. Speed reading. Go. No time to think. Just spewing out nonsense. The world's too unbearable for for a simple man like me. Ah, uh, the, the the what? The vast, vast sadness. Too much sadness. Much to I'll go home. Have. Is what I, it's all that's all jumbled up. I'm happy. I hope it. I hope I make you happy. Oh, it's New Year. See, I thought he got real happy and started shooting people up. I'm still going to assume this is New Year and this is this is fireworks and not firebombing. Police cars, it might have been firebombing. It was firebombing. He took his happiness a bit too far. Wait, I wonder if he went to New Year's. Mass homicide! I was right! Firebombing! He was armed with a knife. Grotesque facial expression. Suspect is under the influence of some drug. Grotesque facial expressions? How do you have a mass homicide, mass murder with a knife? Subdue the man. He wounded an officer. Practice violence. The officer was forced to shoot him dead. Aftermath. 17 casualties. 10 inch. How did, how did one cracked up man with a knife just go around and just shanking everybody? I'm in a happier place now. Are you sure about that? He smiles. The man that you were talking about? Ooh. Thank you. Thank you for your wonderful contribution to society. To society. I still want to know how this one cracked up dude flower. This one cracked up flower dude. Um. Went and bamboozled an entire crowd of people with a single knife. This man either, either has some brutish strength. Or his smile was just so captivating that nobody could walk away from it. <laughs> 